I'm going to show you how to create NP chart in Microsoft Excel. Uh, NP chart is basically uh, is the number of defective or number of complaint. Uh, if you look at the proportion chart or P chart that is plotted basically proportions are out of one. So we divided a uh, number of defectives or number of complaints by the sample size we inspected. Now this is out of one, 0 0.006 out of one is defective, which is kind of difficult to um, comprehend in real time when you are monitoring a process. You know, where products are coming and then you're just checking how many defects are there. It's sometimes difficult to um, kind of make sense uh, very quickly. So to avoid that situation, NP chart is directly that NP is plotted instead of P. So NP makes sense. It's number of complaints or number of defectives in 25. So it, it it's much easier to understand. So let's, mm, let me show you how to create that. It's a very simple chart. Um, one thing we need to um, we need to know is the historical um, proportion defective to create that. Um, so if you go back to our revised chart, so this is the historical proportion that imagine that this is our one on average uh, defective proportion. So we need that uh, probability value for defectives. So and I'm going to uh, write that here, the historical uh, proportion uh, defective. So that is my P0, P0. Um, let's copy the uh, formulas for NP chart. Let's copy it here. So this is the NP chart uh, formula. So create the center line. Uh, we can just say center line. So this is equal to uh, the N uh, sample size times the proportion so this times this value of proportion i'm going to freeze that because i'm going to use the same it's going to be the same value uh, all the way so we can just calculate one and copy and then the uh, upper upper control limit will be equal to np plus uh, so center line is np so let's write that down in P0, there is small letter, uh, NP0, and then uh, upper control is equal to NP0 plus 3 uh, times SQRT, uh, this NP0, 1 minus uh, P0. So P0 is here. We need to freeze that because we're going to use that same thing again and again. Now close the parentheses for a square root. So let's check what's wrong with this. SQRT is probably need a multiple sign here. And fixes the problem. So that's the upper control limit. Now the lower control limit, lower control limit. We can simply copy this and maybe fix this. Uh, drag it here, drag that there. Uh, and then a negative sign there. That should fix the lower control limit. So we have upper control limit, lower control limit, and then number of complaints. So all we have to do is just select that and then plot like this so we can see that the NP chart as you can see in um, this is the same data file we use uh, this is one of the Sun Saturday one of the Saturday one of the Saturday one of the Saturday so all this Saturday uh, if you know they have something going on there uh, it's maybe some part-time worker is working uh, or something not right so there is a trend so you know it's easy to find the problem in that case now let's title this chart and then run with this NP chart NP chart and then uh, have the axis labeled without label we don't have any meaning so let's 
have the axis level that's the uh, this is now the number of non conformance in 2500 uh, sample and then this one is the again the subgroup same thing in this case it was the day we collected this data so that's it about the NP charts uh, very easy to understand um, the number of defectives is plotted directly instead of proportions it makes more sense uh, there are a few disadvantages of this uh, you can't have a variable um, uh, variable uh, subgroup uh, NP chart because um, I mean you can say if you inspect more product generally you will find more defective so this number will go really high so the it has to uh, have fixed sample size which is not a big problem we can simply uh, fix our sample sizes we'll only let's inspect these first 2500 products that we ship in day one or so or between this time period and that time period we'll only collect test 2500 products so it's not really a big uh, trouble to make the sample size fixed on the other hand the NP chart makes a lot of sense you know when you look at it and it's easy understanding that's it about the NP chart